Alright guys, so before we get into the video, I want to show you guys the garage light that I have right now. It's pretty dark in here, you can't really see much, and if I go onto this side, this with all the lights on, you can't really see the car at all. So I'm going to install some new lights, I'm going to be putting some string lights all the way down, so LED bars all the way down the, the whole um, garage, like to have some better lighting in here. I'm going to go ahead and replace these, I got two of them, I have one more coming, um, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Alright, so this is basically what it looks like. Um, it's, it looks like this, and then you can angle these LED bars. So you can angle this so it's flat down, or it can angle it so it's a little bit more um, directed somewhere. And so you just plug them in just like a normal light bulb. So go ahead and install this right now. Alright guys, you guys saw what it looked like before. Oh my gosh, just one of them makes... You guys can see that that's how it's the garage. Look how bright the car is. All right, guys, I'm going to install the next one. Alright, what is up guys, welcome back to the channel, hope you guys are having a great day so far, if you guys are new, please subscribe, I post every other day as much as possible, um, if you guys are new, please check out my other videos, um, it really means a lot to me, it's my 2000 K24 MR2 Spider here, and so, um, as you guys saw, just saw those lights, so, let me know what you guys think, definitely illuminates the garage a lot better, um, so, in the last video you saw the shifter install right there, and man, those shifter stops really help. Oh, it feels so good. Anyways, that's that. Um, I do have a bright rep in there as well as the stock MR2C. I always want to imagine buckets. So in today's video, we're gonna be installing some Sparco Elo2 seats. These are seats that I always want. I always want. I always want to imagine buckets, and these things are so comfortable. Um, right now, with the seat that I have, my head is way above it, and the harness holes. Or at like my mid back because I'm uh, six foot two, so this spark these Sparkle Evo twos are definitely a better fit. They're supposed to fit a 36 to 38 inch waist, and I'm a 30, so um, lots of room. Feels good. It's really comfortable, super plush, and I got a killer deal on these. You guys should really check out Craigslist. I know that's an older platform, but I got both of these in really new condition with side mounts and sliders um, for 650. And that's a really, really good deal. Um, seeing the, of course, that they're Sparkos and um, they're basically brand new with the material in this thing. So, um, we're gonna be installing, we're gonna make some custom brackets. So, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly remove these seats and uh, put the new seats in. So I got both in. Oh my god, this looks so good. You can close the door. Look how little clearance there is. So close the door. If you guys can see that. The clearance on this thing is like it's almost touching the door, so it's, it's pretty small, but man, it looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and figure out how I'm gonna make adapter brackets. I'll get back with you guys, but ooh. Alright guys, so I got 16 inch thick. So basically at this point, I talk about how I'm going to um, cut up this piece of steel that I bought, which I spent way too much money on, and I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Basically, I did this and I spent around two and a half hours and I wasted that because I was too cheap to go ahead and buy some rails or um, some brackets that fit the MR2 for the seats. So I thought I was going to make this. Um, you'll see some cutting in here that my brother helped me record, but... Basically, it was a waste of time, so I'll just go ahead and speed forward, um, save you guys the watch time here. But I basically cut it up, show you guys the brackets. I was going to paint them black too, but then when I was testing them, I realized, you know what? This is going to be, you know, my daily driver. You know, this is not something to skip out on in terms of safety. So um, I'll go ahead and cut it to where I um, got the rails, and they ended up arriving literally in three days because I bought it from Amazon. They're the planted rails. So here we go. Alright guys, so, um, resuming back into the video, it's been 
almost more than a week since we made those brackets. Basically, what happened happening? I made the brackets. It basically. What is going on here? All right, so I made the brackets, and then oh my god, my shoulder. Eventually. Kind of sketchy, and because I actually want to, you know, drive this car, drive this car, has to be safe. I ended up just deciding to buy brackets. So, um, before I get into that, I just wanted to say I did. All right guys, so I got some planet brackets, but before I get into that, I want to say I did install some lights here all throughout the garage. So that's where you're seeing it a lot brighter. Hope you guys enjoyed. I know that I was always shining flashlights and stuff like that. So it's gonna make recording videos a lot better and I don't have to, you guys can actually see what I'm talking about. It's actually bright in here. You see my, ah yes, but got a plant, you got the planted rails. I mean, go ahead. I'm not gonna use sliders. I think the sliders would make it too high. So I'll go ahead and see if I can get this as low as possible. And then um, I'm gonna, it's pretty easy. I'm just gonna put these side brackets onto here, onto the rails, and then bolt it up with the four bolts. And as you can see, I've been test fitting it. fits exactly just like stock. So I'll be uh, selling this. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and drill the planted, um, the planted brackets onto the the side mounts here so we have two of the bolts that fit um looks like we're slightly off on here so we're gonna drill right here and one right there and then so i'm gonna go drill this so we can put the four bolts in after that's done we can go ahead and put them in the car uh, i did already kind of test mount what it would feel like to make sure that the driving position is good for me because they are going to be fixed there's no rails or anything otherwise they're sitting up too high but it's kind of a side view they sit Basically the same as stock, maybe tiny, tiny, tiny bit higher, but uh, overall feels really good. I'm gonna go ahead and drill this and uh, I'll show you guys when I'm installing the seats. Alright guys, got all four bolts with the washers on here and uh, I can say that it's going really really well it's going to be a really really safe setup and go ahead and bolt it into the car alright guys so the seat is in I'm going to go ahead and sit in it for the first time all bolted down oh I kind of fall in oh wow I don't know if you guys can see this but close the door oh man these are good wow if you guys can see this right here, the gap between, look at that, it's so close, but wow, these things are really, really solid. It's kind of like Lotus-esque because of how close these seats are and with the, the cage, of course, but man, these things hug me well. And they have a good amount, sorry for my socks and sandals here, but they have a good amount of leg room too, the way I have it mounted. So yeah, and the shifters right here, of course. Let me go ahead and finish up the driver's side and then I'll show you guys when it's all done. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the car too. All right guys, so both seats are in and man, this thing looks so good. They feel great, they look great. Highly, highly recommend. Both fit, Sparkle Evo 2s, especially the newer ones too, they still fit. So again, this is the planted rails, fits with the shifter and everything. It is a close fit, very tight, but I like the way these seats feel over really cramped seats, especially because I'm six foot two. And you see this a little bit bigger here. So go ahead and do some cinematics and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out and let your passion drive you. Rolling past me, all my memories rolling vastly.